Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Uh, today we are, uh, went out to two places. First, we went to American Family Thrift on September 20th of 2022 uh, in Whitehall. And then we also have uh, Goodwill in Whitehall from September 20th. So I must have hit both stores on the same day. And then I have a couple things from one of the other shows that I did that I want to show Rebecca. But we'll do that at the end. So uh, our first segment is Where's Forky? No. Our first segment is Rebecca's favorite find. Uh, Rebecca will tell us what her favorite find is at the end of the show. And then our second segment is Where's Forky? Uh, Big Forky and Little Forky are hidden somewhere on the set, and it's your job to find them. So, uh, great job on that. Um, so, let's show you what we got. So, from American Family Services, we have this great big Decepticon plane. It is a uh, puppet, because it actually, you put your hand in it and pull the trigger, and it shoots things, but then it also... Uh, transforms into like a hand with blasters. Pow, 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 pow. But we're not shooting anything at Rebecca right now. Right now. And then it's a plane that you can fly around. So pretty neat. Okay. Next bag. And some nice figures. If I can get them out. We have. That's Sven. That's no, Butter. but was it always there? Yeah. I don't know. Here's a Spider Man. And then I don't remember his name. I know he's from Lord of the Rings, but he's the. Elf guy from Lord of the Rings. And then I bought a bag of cars. The brand is Kinsmart. It is a 1955 Chevy stepside pickup. I believe it's a pullback. It is. So this is Kinsmart 1955 uh, stepside pickup. From Chevy and then this one is a Siku S-I-K-U um, Coca-Cola van but it said made in West Germany VW transporter so I thought that was really neat that uh, it was a old-style Coca-Cola van but that the car was made in West Germany versus um, most of them are made in Asia. So I thought that was neat. Hmm. Or China. Well, that's part of Asia. Oh, wow. So the, uh, the back opens up like that, too. Very neat. You could tell I'm not good at social studies because I said China, and you're like, that's part of Asia, too. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and they normally say made in China, made in Hong Kong, made in Taiwan. There's and really then really anything made from after Korea. that, it's like made in Mexico, um, but made in West Germany is different. That's why if somebody, if anybody has watched the Amazing Amazing Race and social studies or like that type of things involved, I would not be good at. I'd be good at the heights, not the social studies. So this is a National Wildlife Federation uh, view find viewmaster. And it looks like a pair of binoculars, but it actually has the Viewmaster reels on there. And then it came with um, a bunch of other ones. Uh, this one says Thomas the Thomas and Friends. This is the National Wildlife. Yeah, I think all these are. Because that one's Marine Life. There's a bunch of others, so. Pretty neat. So then that just slides in the top. It slides in the top and you can um, 
view the slides by clicking the button. Is that right? Clicking I don't that. see any. No, yeah, but I don't see anything. Do you have to take the lens cap off? Is there even a lens cap? That doesn't um, look like to be I'm, a lens I'm cap. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't What's know. a lens? We'll have to Is that out. where you protect? I think Cope has that on her camera. I remember, you were saying you were looking through the binoculars, but oh, yeah. you couldn't see anything because the lens cap was still on. Oh yeah. I, I don't know how to wear binoculars either. Okay. okay, so then we went to Goodwill and we found looks to be six bags and a dinosaur. So we'll show you that. Right? So we have this great big dinosaur guy. Um, let's see if there's any markings on him. I think there is. Oh, that's battery markings. Made in China. That's all I got. So we'll look him up to see what kind of dinosaur he is. I don't think Korea makes a lot of toys. They make cars. Yeah. Not, not that I've seen, but that doesn't mean it's true. I mean, I think I have seen a toy that said made in Korea, but that was like a bit ago. This is an ugly doll with a keychain. Um, it says ugly doll, ugly ghost. And originally from Brave New Worlds, comics, games, and toys, it was $6. There's no way I would pay $6 for this. So, anyway. Luckily, you got it at the first. Here's Harold the helicopter from Thomas and Friends. When was our helicopter in Thomas and Friends? It was. I thought it was all about trains, not helicopters. I don't know. I don't need not. Uh, Here's don't a either. motorcycle. Uh, this may be Imaginext or Ninja Turtles or something. I'll have to look that up. Here's a keychain Mickey Mouse Poppet. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then there's a. Octagon, which is like a stop sign shape, didn't eight the, sides. Didn't, That's a poppet. Didn't the twins just get this? They got um, oh, a poppet. baby Yoda poppet and, and a water bottle. And the uh, what was the one from Stranger Things? The uh, the Gorgon or something? Poppets. I'm not sure. Why did they have these back when I was a kid? Blue plastic. Slinky, not as big as the other Slinky that I just got. He's cool. What is he? It says made in China. There's some really small writing here. A oh, Roblox Jazzwares. So it is Roblox. He doesn't really look like some of the other Roblox I've seen. He looks more like a Playmobil character, but he's pretty cool. We have a cat with a little keychain, a uh, purple cat. And this is a baseball with a face and a mustache almost. This is BJ Toys Penargil, Pennsylvania. That's close. Hmm. I but don't know. It what says made in China. Go. Oh, I put my finger in. <laughs> There's a hole there. I put my finger in, which you're not supposed to do. But uh, there's like a loose spot in there. Is that a diamond? <gasps> Rich. Not your brother. Uh, <laughs> okay. We have the yellow Power Ranger minus one hand. Sheriff Woody. We have Bullseye from Toy Story. We have so Quasi is the guy with the eye patch. This is from Octonauts. I believe that is Peso. Peso. I, I will. I will check. And then we have. Build a bear, um, totally turquoise bear. 
Must have been a Build-A-Bear from McDonald's maybe or something. Did they do a partnership with them? Yes. It's McDonald's. Okay. And we have Thor on silver. You remember his name? Funzo? Yeah. I think. I think it's Funzo. Fuzzy? No. He's the bad guy from Toy Story 3. Gonzo? Gonzo Bear? No. Is that a thing? Gonzo's a Muppet. Oh. This is Rocky? Yeah. From Paw Patrol. This is. Oh. I thought I had wheels, but I, no, it's just me pushing it around. Here's Rex from Toy Story. Is this body up? And there's a fish. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a fish. It sort of looks Muppety, right? Yep. Like Elmo kind of Muppety. And the tag says Sesame Street. It's his fish. At SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. Sesame Place. Is it his fish? I, I don't know. Is it Elmo's fish? It could be. But it is from... Um, that that whole group, like Bush Garden, Sea World, Sesame Place, is all owned by Anheuser Busch. Sea World Parks and Entertainment. We'll have to look up to see if this is Elmo's fish or not. Okay. A lot of stuffed animals in these bags. I got this for Rebecca because I know she loves it. An elf on the shelf. It's an elf on the shelf keychain. And I believe, oh, his hands are sewed together. He's praying. So that he can strangle people in their sleep. Oh. Here is a white cat that has blue and orange markings all over it. A unique cat. This is a tiger that uh, the company says Unipack. Here's another Rex. This is actually Imaginext. Here's a Rex from Imaginext. That's pretty cool. Here is a Catwoman, maybe? I think that looks say? like Catwoman. Catwoman um, Imaginext figure. And Rebecca's other favorite. Ew, those ugly the dolls. Ugly troll dolls. They look like they're um, gonna eat your face off in the middle of the night. So let's see. He has TT on one foot. 1998 um, GTI LCD, maybe? I don't know. These are actually pretty cool. Rebecca wants to sleep with him no. at night. Rebecca will sleep at both of these tonight. No, no, no. Give it to my brother. He wants to sleep at So then we have uh, Blaze and the Monster Machines. This is Darrington. Um, this is a certain version of him because he's all like crystal. Is that the Canadian biker Darrington? I don't know. Canadian. Oh, no. You're talking about Duke Kaboom. I from Toy Story. And then this says 2000-2001 World Champion and it's uh, Team Meats. M-E-E-N-T-S. It's a monster truck that says Team Meats on it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then the three things I wanted to show Rebecca were this very generic fidget spinner. These pieces come off, so just so you know. So you rip them apart? Well, you're not supposed to. Oh. I'm just saying I had to rebuild it. There's this fox that may be made from real fox hair. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know, but it looks like real hair to me. So I wanted to show Rebecca this cool fox. This is very quiet. Yeah. And then here is Sven that I got uh, when I was down in Florida with paint buckets Aww. on his head. So I thought he was cool. 
He's helping Kristoff paint, but we didn't buy that figure. Oh. So, and I am drinking San Pellegrino Limonada. It is very strong, like lemon juice almost. Um, Italian sparkling drinks. You can mix it with, um, you know, like Sprite or something to cut down the tart taste of it, but I like to drink it straight up. So. If you don't know what it looked like before, it kind of looked like alcohol, but it's lemonade. Ah, perfect. It's a little tart. Okay, so Rebecca, what is your favorite find of the night? Probably the Fox and Sven. Fox and Sven. This should be a book, Fox and Sven. The Fox and the Hound. Her favorite find is Sven and the Fox. Good lord, good luck. Put him here, maybe? You have all your other spins up there, but... Hey, you're breaking the family up. I think we're running out of room, kid. Never. Okay, so, uh, Big Forky, Little Forky. I'm looking around. Little Forky's right here. Big Forky's right here. So we'll pull them out. That way we don't forget them. Um, if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, we love to make videos and everything. And we'll finish up this one with final thoughts with Rebecca. Final thoughts. My final thoughts are 2023 is really right around the corner. And it's kind of nerve-wracking because you don't know what 2023 is going to be bringing into your life next because we thought 2022 was doing good, but it didn't do too good. I mean, there were some good moments like our Key West trip and uh, what else? What else was there? I know there was a memory that I getting a tattoo on my second piercing. Like, there's some good memories in there, but then there were also not the very good memories specifically losing pop-up but you know ne this next year will hopefully bring no more deaths no more i mean COVID's still around but wait, is COVID really around here yes oh well COVID's so, still around here uh tridemic with uh rsv flu and COVID. oh well i know it hit bad in china so well put that in the back of our mind well right yeah and start 2023 with a better open mindset. And hopefully 2023 treats us good because 2022 treats us mixed feelings. Like we had our ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I liked, I did like Hope's post where she's like, there was some good and there was some bad. And I'm like, there was definitely some good and definitely some bad. Yep, you just gotta keep making memories. Uh, let me tell you. This year, so happy right? new year guys and uh have a great the thought get out of here have a great uh day and uh we'll see you in 2023 uh take bye. care oh yeah